New tonight, there's a domain bandit in Topeka. The man who basically took over a local restaurant has lost access to the store's web address. And in this story that you'll see only on 27 News, weekend anchor Jacob Kaufman breaks down the domain drama. Casey McLennan is the owner of Little Russia Chili Parlor in Little Russia. And with any new business, advertising is important. So you can imagine the disbelief he had when he found out he wouldn't be able to use the unique name of his restaurant when registering his domain. What might be first looked at as a coincidence quickly turned into a dispute. Not only does the person who purchased LittleRussiaChiliParlor.com not own a restaurant with the name, the person who purchased LittleRussiaChiliParlor.com is a neighbor living in Topeka. It's a problem that has the new owner of this restaurant hot. The key words the business name, Little Russia Chili Parlor, are not in the, regist the domain that we're currently utilizing at 508 Pickles because they're already, they've already been taken, right? So it, it changes the efficiency of the, of the website marketing. It, the challenge, the biggest challenge in any new business is letting people know you exist. When it comes to registering a web address, it's first come, first serve. We called the man who purchased it several times. We found out he works for the state's health department, but he never returned our calls. So is there any hope for the restaurant's owner? We spoke with an attorney for answers. Generally speaking, if someone registers a trademark in a domain name, that they don't have authority to use and they register and use that domain name in bad faith and that's critical that has to be proven um, in a case that's the, where the case rises or falls then the complainant who is the brand owner can have the domain name transferred to them or canceled. According to Cheryl Burbach, some examples of bad faith include not doing anything with the trademark that truly belongs to somebody else and holding the domain rights for more money than it's actually worth. If I register a domain name that costs me $10, I have no business that is affiliated with that name, and I say, oh sure, I'll sell it to you for half a million dollars, that's evidence of bad faith possibly unless you could prove the domain name was actually worth half a million dollars. We talked about pricing back and forth, and I, I just wasn't, didn't feel like I wanted to be held hostage to something like this. I feel like I shouldn't be having to pay 10 or, or 20 or 30 or 100 times what the, end, what the domain registry fee would be. McLennan says what's going on feels predatory and unethical, and all he wants to do is be able to register the domain under the name of his restaurant so he can continue to advertise properly. Working for you in North Topeka, Jacob Kaufman, 27 News.